Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new review. I am your lovely, awesome host, Bogusatsu. And I'm here to review a not Toki figure, actually. No, I might have to do something a little bit different <laughs> today. We're here to review a Star Wars figure. Wait, what? Hey, you like Star Wars? I made, I made a lot of Star Wars videos on the channel, though. Oh, a few, but still. Yes, I love Star Wars. One of my favorite franchises. I love the prequels. They're my favorite out of the main three. I do not, I do not like the sequel trilogy. Except it wasn't my cup of tea. I love the original trilogy. Disney Plus series. Some are good. Others are okay. And the other ones are kind of not for me. But anyway. Uh, yeah. We're, we're here to review the essay figure Qui-Gon Jinn. This essay, the... This is actually the brand new one, not the first one. Because this one is retail. He's not premium Bandai like the first one was. And oh boy, this is a Mazer Glow from the first one. Now, I can't compare it to the first one since I never bought the first one. But from playing with him and posing him, I can say, in my personal opinion, he's actually, he's actually one of the better figures for uh, the Star Wars line. And we're going to talk about that today. So we have Liam Neeson here. Yeah, this is Liam Neeson, if you can tell. So we have Liam Neeson here, looking like a Chad. Oh boy. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so this is how far his arms go up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I did not expect that to happen, my bad. But uh, this is but this is uh how far his arms go up like this. <laughs> that never happened to me before. What the heck? This is how far this is how far his legs go up too. Yeah, this figure has a lot of QC issues, you I think you could tell. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, I just discovered this. Every time I uh, do this, it did not want to pop back in. So that's fucking wonderful. Let's give me language. Let's see how far his legs go from here as well. Does he have any back torso? No, this, this is how far he goes. He has like no ab crunch and all that. You can pose him to a stand. And that's about it. He comes with his lightsaber right there. And, uh, look at the face. You cannot tell me this is not Liam Neeson. This is Liam Neeson, my guy. <clears throat> yeah, this figure is okay. When I say that, when I say that he's actually one of the best figures in the Star Wars line. I mean, like, he's better than uh, the seasons. He's better than, like, in my opinion, than any of the Mandalorian figure art. Because those figures are not that good. Especially, like, the season three one. That one was... Mediocre. Yeah, I reviewed that figure. Wasn't the biggest fan of that toy whatsoever. I just think that figure was a step down, in my opinion, from Tamashi. Because I know that I know they could do better. They do good for Kamen Rider and Power not Power Rider, Sentai and uh Ultraman and Dragon Ball. I just think that uh the the Mandalorian figure could have been better in my opinion. So now we're going. So now we're going to on to his accessories. Oh, by the way, unrelated, but I want to point this out. This is the box art, right? And uh, the cover is literally the DVD cover of the Phantom Menace. Let me move out. Look, it's literally the DVD cover of the Phantom Menace. And I have to say, I love this. I uh, I really do love this. I love how I love how modern day Star Wars figures have like pictures like this in the background. It's so cool. I love this. I know I know it is the anniversary of the Phantom Menace and all, but I love this so much. Personally, my favorite prequel movie is Avengers Sith, but hey, teach the own. But 
for, for safety though, I'm real though. I, I love this. You got Moe in the background, you got Qui-Gon, you got Padme, you got Luke, you got Jar Jar, the goat. You got L Young Annie, you got the freaking ship, you got R2, 3PO. I, I love, I love this. I love everything about this. This is so good. This is, this is really cool. Oh man. <laughs> I love Star Wars, man. What can I say? So you see, Master Jin here, Qui-Gon Jin has a lot of accessories. Well, yeah, he he, he doesn't cover he doesn't cover um he doesn't cover, he, blah, 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 I can't talk sorry he doesn't cover it that much, but uh, he does have a lot of accessories. Before I saw off his robes, here we have. Two pieces to his lightsaber. You can make, you can, you can put this on to make into like a woo, 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 woo. or to have like simple, to have the big glowing stick on there. And by the way, my my copy of his uh, lightsaber. I'm trying to get this thing to freaking focus. But, uh. Not bad. My copy of the lightsaber, you can see right there, it's a little bit broken. Yeah, I think, yeah, when I first opened him, I think he broke the lightsaber a little bit, so. So, I gotta be very gentle with, uh, with, with adding it on here to give it to him. So, yeah, be careful, because this thing is super rare. You only have, you only have like, one copy of this lightsaber to put. Uh, both of the both of these in here. Although this this one this one is a little bit more heavier, but yeah. <sighs> here we have a uh, translator. Translator. <laughs> Trans. I call this a translator. What? A hologram of the ship. I said ship, calm down. <laughs> Here we have a communicator. You have a lot of hands you come with in a face. Oh, I'll talk the face first. Hit the second face he come to make the to hit the second face they come with to recreate the iconic scene with dark mole. Stab him in the freaking chest. <laughs> and uh well. We all watched the movie, so we know what happened to Qui Gon. It was part. It was part of his destiny in the real of the Force. So yeah. I <laughs> mean, uh, uh, just to say that I did not hate Qui Gon anyway. No, but I cannot cap to you. Qui Gon was a jerk in the first movie. Oh my goodness. I rewatched all three movies last year because I thought, I said to myself, you know what, I'm in a Star Wars mood, so fuck it, let me go watch these movies last year. Excuse me, language, but uh, I had a fun time watching them, like, okay. But I cannot lie at the same time. Qui Gon was just a piece of crap towards freaking uh, everyone in the first movie, including Obi Wan. Like, bruh. You have way, you're putting way too much hype into Anakin, look what happened. No hate toward AK, he's my favorite Star Wars character of all time. But still. Here we have his open hands for the Force! The Force! Woo! The Force! Okay. 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 Woo! The Force! Here we have, uh. His lightsaber holding hands. You can make him hold his lightsaber. But actually, that for that for the communicator. But still, we have more open lightsaber here. I swear they got so, he got so many freaking lightsaber hands. It's not even funny. Ay ay ay. 
What? Why he come with so many hands? Dude, there's so many hands here. I can't keep up with these freaking blasted things. Here he got more hands. Oh my goodness. All these hands is basically just used for his lightsaber. And that's it. I don't need to solve the accessory because they're not that important. <sighs> anyway, size comparison. That compared to a few other Star Wars figures and non Star Wars figures. Let me go uh get let me go get Mr. Nissan into his into a good stand pose. Yeah, uh, as you can tell, this figure frustrates me. I like him. I like the figure, but at the same time, he's uh he's all over the place. He's one of the best he's one of the best Star Wars figures, yes. Scope rise, articulation rise, not that much. No, he's he, he's trash in that department. It kind of sucks because I was hoping for the figure to be pretty good. Well, I had Dark Maul, and uh, I will review Dark Maul. Don't worry, probably next month. But, but yeah, uh, this guy is this figure is okay. Just to say, at least. He's okay. He's not amazing or anything. He is just okay. Speaking of Dark Maul, here he is with the, with the brand new SA figure, Dark Maul. And here he is with the SA figure, Kenobi version of Vader. Yeah, I know Tomashi Tomashi re releasing a uh, updated version of episode four Vader. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe Vader told out of the mall, well to be fair. He of course he is. He's a big pile of black armor in a in a suit with a robotic arm. I love Vader so much, so listen, I love Star Wars. What can I say? Here yeah, he is with uh, the Black Series Ahsoka. And no, I did not buy the figure art version. Why not? I'm, I have the Black Series version, so I'm all good. I, know, I do want to point out, I love the fact how Tamashi knocked that figure on Black History Month. Ironic and pretty cool because her actress is well black as well. So, yeah. Nice work, Tamashi. You did good for doing that. And uh, here he is with the Black Series Sabine Wren. <laughs> Damn, they still pretty well for each other. Well, to be fair, Black Series figures do stand really well with uh, Star Wars figure, well, with figure arts. Okay, wonderful. Here's Qui Gon, not falling down. Here's Qui Gon with Ezra, with the Black Series of Ahsoka version of Ezra. And here he is with uh, the with the Sinkoku Seho SA figure, Kiryu Red. And this is actually the next figure I'm going to review. So <laughs> I got a lot of things to say about him once I get the pictures ready. And uh, just because I not have Volderad yet, I get my copy next month. Here he is with the SH figure coming right in. Got chart. Oh no, he said. Oh no, he sent paper for all of them. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to show this off. But, uh, he comes with a, uh, poncho and a hoodie, a cloth hoodie you can give them. This, this is the poncho, by the way, that he wore when he fought Mulver, when he came Mulver the first time. 
That's a pretty cool, guys. Guys, cloth. Literally, it's freaking cloth. Which is really cool. Which is also really good because I like, I prefer, I prefer, I prefer cloth or plastic in my opinion. So it's also that too. It just gave more range, you could say, for the said figure. And here we have, uh, yeah, the hoodie you can give him as well. Now, I already put this on him in the picture, so you you will be seeing the hoodie on him, so don't worry. But yeah, besides that, that's about it. This figure's okay. He's okay. His articulation is not the best. His accessories are kind of, accessories hit, but, sorry. His articulation is not the best. Articulation is not the best. His accessories are lackluster. And, uh, he's, and, uh, yeah, he's, he, he's, Fine. He's an okay figure. Could have been better in my opinion, but that's just me. If I had to rate this guy, man, I'll, I'll give it a five out of ten. Just average. I think, uh, I think he might be a little bit way worse than the Buffer figure art. And I, I'm not the biggest fan of the zombie, uh, the Buffer figure art. Mainly because of QC issues with that figure, but still. Yeah, uh, Quite a figure is good, but not all that amazing. Kind of disappointed, Tamashi. I expect better from you guys. Like, listen, listen. I love. I will always buy your products. Don't lie. I love. I love Kamen Rider. I love Sentai. I love Dragon Ball. I will buy your product and review them. And get by the same time, I gotta get my honest thoughts on said product. I don't think they figured all that good. If you spent more time on on articulation instead of freaking reviewing him for a, for being a prototype and all that, he could have been better. Because you literally just saw the, you literally just saw the video that his arm popped off. That never happened before. So I have no idea what the heck was going on when Tamashi made this guy. Your best bet, I'll just say, pre-order. Pre-order the Black Series 3 pack because that version is uh that version might be better. And how do I, how do they do that? He's on GameStop that the three pack with Mo, Obi Wan, and Qui Gon's on GameStop website. So you're welcome there. Yeah, this figure's okay. He's not the best. He's lackluster for accessory articulation. Not that good. I honestly feel disappointed, Tamashi. You could have done better. Like, the same treatment you give for anime in Tokyo, give to Star Wars. Just saying. Like, I love the Vader figure art for Kenobi. That figure is pretty good. Mine is head popping up at times for me. You could, you could have done so much better with this guy. And I'm just disappointed how much uh, you just failed my expectation for him. I should give him, I think the figure is a C. Not the worst, but he could have been better. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media social medias in the description. And uh oh yes, subscribe to this channel. Your boy trying to read a thousand sub. And we got help, well we can do that. Because that's the goal for this year. I'm not giving up on it. And we're almost there, literally. If we we're we are literally almost at we are almost at night not night other. A thousand subs. If we can get to that goal this year, that would be wonderful. I'll be, I'll be to be blessed and humble, and I'm super proud that uh, we, we did it. We accomplished that goal. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my channel, follow, follow, follow all my social media description. Put the notification button on for my next video, and uh, comment down below what is. What what is your favorite Star Wars character or moment? And uh yeah guys, my name is Aaron or Boku, whatever you want to call me. And uh I am out. The next video the next figure we're gonna view is on the Sinkoku Seho SA figure Kiryu Red. That then after that we're gonna view Dark Mode, then uh then a Super Saiyan Goku figure, and a, a Batman figure, and a Mayfax figure. Yay! It's a Batman figure as well, but yeah. Alright, guys. I'm out. Peace.